Slender. Slender is a first-person horror game that was released in 2012. It puts players in the shoes of a protagonist exploring a dark forest, collecting pages while being chased by the Slenderman. The game's minimalistic approach to storytelling and gameplay has had a significant impact on the horror genre in video games, paving the way for future titles. The game's backstory is intentionally vague with little information given about the Slenderman or the forest. This lack of information allows players to fill in the gaps with their imagination, making the horror even more intense. This approach to storytelling was groundbreaking at the time, and many horror games that followed have emulated it. The concept of less is more has become a staple in the horror genre and it began with Slender. Slender's gameplay mechanics are simple but effective. The player must collect pages while avoiding the Slenderman, who is constantly stalking them. The player has no weapons, no means of defence and no way to kill the Slenderman. This creates a sense of helplessness and vulnerability that is integral to the horror experience, and Slender's gameplay mechanics have since been emulated in other horror games such as Outlast and Amnesia The Dark Descent. Slender's use of sound is another significant factor in its impact on the horror genre. The game's sound design is intentionally eerie with unsettling sound effects and an unsettling music score that contributes to the game's horror. Sound effects and music are designed to create a sense of dread and tension which is essential to the horror experience. The importance of sound design in horror games has been recognised in many subsequent titles and it all began with Slender. In conclusion, Slender's impact on the horror genre cannot be overstated. The game's minimalistic approach to storytelling, simple but effective gameplay mechanics and use of sound have paved the way for future horror games. Slender has influenced many horror games since its release and its legacy can still be seen in the genre today. The game's impact on the horror genre makes it a significant milestone in the history of video games and it will always be remembered as a groundbreaking title. Eerie Eerie is a first person horror game that was also released in 2012. The game is set in an abandoned research facility and players must navigate the maze-like structure while avoiding a monstrous creature that inhabits the facility. Eerie's use of environmental storytelling and lo-fi aesthetics has had a significant impact on other video games in the horror genre. As the player progresses through the facility, they discover notes and recordings left behind by the scientists who once worked there. These clues give the player insight into the facility's past and the events that led to its abandonment. This adds a layer of depth to the horror, as the player is left to piece together the story of what happened. Eerie's approach to environmental storytelling has influenced many horror games that have followed, and it has become a staple in the genre. Whether or not it was a factor of the funding behind the video game, the game's visuals are simplistic, giving it a retro aesthetic that adds to the overall sense of dread. The simplicity of the visuals allows the player's imagination to fill the gaps. Eerie's gameplay mechanics are simple, but the horror is intense. The player must navigate the facility while avoiding the monstrous creature that inhabits it. Game's mechanics are straightforward, but the horror comes from the sense of helplessness and vulnerability that the player feels. This approach to gameplay mechanics has influenced many horror games that followed, a good one being Alien Isolation. But it's not just exclusive to that game, as Eerie's legacy can be seen in pretty much every horror game that followed. One Late Night One Late Night was a horror game that released in 2013 and quickly became a popular title among the horror game enthusiasts. The game's popularity was due to its unique and engaging gameplay, coupled with its effective use of horror elements. The aspect that made One Late Night stand out the most was its innovative use of a familiar setting. The game is set in an office building, a mundane and familiar location that is not typically associated with horror. 
The game's use of the office setting, however, creates a sense of vulnerability and dread as the player navigates the dark and empty corridors. The game's setting also adds to the overall realism of the experience, making it easier for players to relate to the character's situation. A common factor in all of these video games, once again, was its minimalistic approach. The game does not rely on jump scares, but instead creates a sense of tension through the atmosphere and pacing. The player is alone in the office, and the game creates an overwhelming sense of isolation and vulnerability. The game's use of sound design, ambient lighting and realistic sound effects adds to the overall sense of tension and dread. This minimalistic approach was a departure from the typical horror game which relied heavily on jump scares and gore to create a sense of horror. The game used a point and click style of gameplay which allowed players to interact with the environment and solve puzzles. This style of gameplay made the game more engaging and interactive than other horror titles which typically relied on more linear approach. The game's puzzles were challenging but not overly difficult which kept players engaged and motivated to continue playing. The game's storyline was also another standout feature. The story follows a character who is working late in the office and encounters a series of unexplainable events that slowly reveal a darker side of the building. The game's story is immersive and it keeps the player engaged and invested in the game's outcome. One Late Night has earned its place in the horror game genre and it remains a classic title that continues to be enjoyed by horror game enthusiasts to this day. Now whether or not this is a unpopular opinion, but One Late Night, Eerie and Slender, they marked the peak of the horror genre. These games broke away from the typical horror game formula of gore and jump scares and instead focused on creating an atmosphere of terror and tension. These games relied on minimalistic approaches to storytelling, sound design and visual effects, which allowed players to fully immerse themselves in the game's world. The use of these techniques gave the players a sense of vulnerability and fear which made these games stand out from the other horror games. Finally, the nostalgia factor also contributes to the lasting impact of these games. These old horror games were some of the earliest successful indie horror games, and many players remember them fondly. They created a genre that influenced many other horror games that followed. They set a standard for horror games that other developers aspire to reach. They'll forever be remembered as classics in the horror game genre.